I have to talk about this, okay? I th- This has been extremely frustrating. So for those of you who don't know, I think I've mentioned this in my Discord. Join the Discord, link in the description below, if you're not aware of the Discord. Uh, it's dscrd.ntwb.cc. It's the place you want to be if you want to chat with me. All that stuff. Um, so I have been going through all of the Netflix Marvel series. Now, I... I kind of like didn't go into them in large part because I never wanted to subscribe to Netflix. I also heard that they didn't really connect to the greater MCU all that much. Also, it was kind of unconfirmed as to whether or not they were actually in the MCU. Then Marvel eventually said, yes, they're connected to the MCU. And then they released Echo and they were like, hey, this actually directly connects to the other, um, like the, the Marvel Netflix series, particularly Daredevil. And now they're working on Daredevil Born Again and all that stuff. So, Now I'm like, okay, I have to now go and dive into the series. And I'm now like neck deep in this series. Like I just finished Jessica Jones season two, which I think puts me maybe about like the halfway point or just after the halfway point of the Marvel Netflix shows. And most of it has been enjoyable. Although I do miss, you know, having more variety in the shows that I watch because uh, a lot of them are very similar in, in, in certain ways, especially in tone. But... This season, this second season of Jessica Jones has been an absolute train wreck. And let me explain why. So you've got the character Trish, who she is known for like being on the radio, essentially a sibling. Um, You know, they grew up together, her and Jessica Jones. Um, They, you know, do investigative stuff together. They both come from different backgrounds. So so one person is able to find information on the mystery that like the other person isn't. Um, they, They make for a really good team. Um, in the past, Trish has had uh, bouts with drug abuse, but you know, she's kind of come back from that. She's doing her, her career and all that stuff again. Um, so she's like, kind of like, you know, got back on the wagon, but in this season, like halfway through, she just like all of a sudden, um, she, she grabs this like inhaler from, uh, her ex lover Simpson, who was like a, uh, and experimented on um, like superhero or whatever, grabs the inhaler, which has like a bunch of like drugs in it, starts to like go crazy, act super erratic. She quits her, her radio show live on the air on a whim because she feels like she can't do as much with that radio show as she could by like, I don't know, punching bad guys. So she goes kind of crazy, goes kind of haywire, which generally, you know, that's okay, right? You know, her character's changing, but it's because she's on drugs. But then she loses access to her drugs. She kind of withdraws a little bit, but then she is still acting a bit odd, still acting a bit crazy. And then there's this whole other plot where with Jessica Jones, her mother has like kind of come back because her mother's, um, I guess, husband now was the person who operated on both her mother and her that both gave her uh, gave them both superpowers of super strength, but allowed them to survive the tragic accident they were in several several years uh, years ago that killed the rest of the family. So he saved their lives, but he he actually gave them some powers too. Now Jessica Jones is salty. Now she was at, at first her whole deal was like, oh, you're doing this without consent, right? You're doing dangerous experiments on people when they didn't even ask you to do that, right? You know, these people were dying, right? They could not give you their consent. Uh, no fair. This is bad. And so this guy, meanwhile, is trying to work on perfecting his his science craft. And she's like, nah, man, you're evil. You're bad because you experiment on people. And so she tries to get him to stop um, to the best of her ability. Her mother is mad because her mother, of course, has fallen in love with, with a man. Also can help at calming her down. So she's like, this is good for me for him to be around, for him to be alive. That's okay. Like, that's an okay plot line, right? The general plot is, you know, Jessica Jones is trying to get this guy. He's doing experiments uh, on people against their will. But then Trish, who is without her drugs, she wants to, um, you know, kind of feel like she has like some sort of like superpower or something. So she goes to the dude who gave Jessica Jones powers and says, hey, give me powers too." Jessica Jones flips out and is like, no, you're going to die. Interrupts the procedure while it's in progress. And I'm like, OK, hold on. What are the ethics of this show? I thought that the point 
was that he's bad because he was doing ex- uh, d- doing experiments on people against their will. But this lady specifically said, I want you to operate on me. And Jessica Jones was still like, no. So, like, what is the actual real reason why Jessica Jones hates this man? It's extremely unclear. And then, of course, you've got the problem with Jessica Jones' mom who... Um, you know, she keeps on going back and forth from between like you know, wanting to stay away from Jessica Jones to wanting to be with Jessica Jones to throwing Jessica Jones against walls to treating her well to wanting to kidnap her and force her to be her sidekick to saying, you know what, go do your own thing. To by the time I was at the end, I had whiplash. Man, I probably had like five or six cases of CTE if I had, if I got my brain scanned because <laughs> they kept on having me go back and forth. The villain was extremely unreliable. And yes, Jessica Jones did say, oh, she is brain damaged. But at the same time, it's hard to keep track of a villain whose motives and strategies keep changing so much. I was I was just like, man, what what is this season? What is this season even? It really felt like a show that had like a different writer every single episode and no writer's room. Everyone just wrote each episode in the closet. Like it was just bonkers. It was just bad. The only person whose story made sense was um uh, uh, uh Hogarth, the lawyer lady who got ALS. Simple enough plot line. They didn't bungle that one. But like, I'm like, man, after every single one of these seasons where there have been not a single miss, there's not, a, there's been not a single miss. And I don't care about the Iron Fist haters. Uh, Iron Fist season one was very, very good. Not a single miss. Then we get the Jessica Jones season two and they fumble the bag so much, which shocked me, particularly because I, part of me was I was watching De- Daredevil and I was like, ah, season one was great. Are they going to make season two better? And they really brought it. So now I'm like, okay, Netflix knows how to make second seasons of these Marvel Netflix shows be good. They don't just drop off of the face of the earth when it comes to quality on the second season like many shows do. And I was just completely disappointed. They did the exact opposite with Jessica Jones season two, man. So I am hoping that the rest of these uh, seasons are good. If there's one that's abominably bad, I will certainly let you guys know. But oh boy, this was this was just not great. I am I am not a fan of this. 